Hi everyone, welcome to Hudson Oaks, Texas, and welcome to HEB, where here everything's better. That's what HEB stands for. And today, I'm here to give you guys a little tour of the store, not too much. I'm here mainly to focus on the Christmas items that they have, but I wanted to show you guys a little bit of the store because this place is really great. This is a glorified grocery store with a little bit of everything else in there, minus clothes, of course. But HEB Plus stores would be the place to go for that. I would I would compare HEB with a place like Kroger Marketplace. And for us up in the Pittsburgh area, Market District from Giant Eagle. This place is really nice. They're, it's usually kept really clean, as are all their locations. Uh, they've been around for well over 100 years. And I'll go into a little brief history about that as we walk around the store. But I'm here by myself to check this place out because I have some time to kill. You might be wondering, where's Kayla? Well, as you know, we're here in Texas visiting her family for the holidays. And you know how she loves to get her hair dyed awesome colors. I was going to say multiple colors, ridiculous colors. But no matter what she does, it always comes out great. So this evening, she's at her friend's house getting her hair done. And I figured while I have some downtime, I would come here and show you guys the Christmas goodies that they have here, as well as a little brief uh, walk through the store and what makes it so nice. So you'll see her at the end of the video anyway. So in the meantime, let's go in there and check out HEB. But before that, I'll show you a couple other things around here as well. HEB is awesome in the fact that they have their own gas station as well. I know a bunch of other grocery stores do too, but this one, their prices are very low and their gas station is kept relatively clean. And it's right in the parking lot of the main store. I'm sure if you haven't noticed by now, no, I am not in the Z24. I'm actually in my in-law's F-150. Uh, this is actually my mother-in-law's truck, and thank you very much for letting me use your vehicle today. And uh, as a proper thank you, I think it's only fair to fill your gas tank back up. So if you're watching this, thanks again. <laughs> and uh, boy, can I keep it? I love this truck. <laughs> yeah, as we wait for this to fill up, this bad boy, I love this truck, the twin turbo. Oh, this is a great engine. But yeah, as we wait for this to fill up, this place is great. You need to get gas, you get, need to get things from the store, you can get it in one shot, and they're usually in stock on everything, most of the time. And, well, I've never had a bad experience here, so. Anyway, once this is done filling up here, let's go inside and check out HEB and what they have for Christmas. HEB even has their own car wash, so you can get gas, wash your car, and go grocery shopping right after. So, now that we got gas in the tank, let's go inside and check them out for real. Yeah, here you go. Here's your front entrance here, Texas backyard. I love it. And they have a lot of garden stuff out front here, too. It's actually quite nice. They have quite a lot out here, and but we're here for the Christmas stuff in this video. So check out what they have here look at the penguins just off the bat though <laughs> I love it and then right through here are fresh cut Christmas trees look at these they're like four feet tall a couple or five feet a little bit taller as you go along but pretty nice okay here we are the awesome HEB and immediately we're here with wrapping paper they have quite a lot of wrapping paper here big selection for a store they even have Christmas themed Tupperware. I like that with the reindeer on it. <laughs> That's cool. Plenty of gift boxes. Oh, almost dropped the camera. And oh my god! Look at that! That's so cool! I never seen this anywhere else. <laughs> well, I guess I'm buying that for sure. That is cool. What I was trying to show you was they have these HEB brand gingerbread house kits, and they're only $7.97 for it. I'm sure the Christmas story ones more and over here we got plenty of bows for gift wrapping and the paper over there to go along with it they also have toys here too great for gift giving and stocking stuffers and I'll show you even more here in just a second more stocking stuffer gift ideas here and then oh winter time air fresheners can't go wrong with those here's some Christmas cards and gift bags plenty of those more Christmas cards here Charlie Brown one with Snoopy <laughs> Over here we have more gift bags, more wintertime and festive air fresheners, so no shortage on that. 
And then if we go down in this aisle, you'll see plenty of Christmas cards. They have a pretty good selection for a grocery store. As you can see, this whole aisle is full of cards. But as for Christmas ones, three four-foot sections of cards. And they even have ornaments here, too. And you know I like the ornaments, like the Charlie Brown one. I have that one. And I got the leg lamp. There's another leg lamp there. Oh, look at that Peanuts one. Try me. Oh, that's so cool. I like that. And where did I see it? I think, oh, look at this card. I like this 3D card. That's nice. And I saw things over here. More Christmas cards. They're bulk packs, so you can send them out in the mail to your friends and family. Look at the Peanuts Christmas mug. Merry and bright. That's a nice mug. And so are these little snow globes. <laughs> All right, as we begin to do our walking tour through the store, I'll give you just a little bit of information about H-E-B's history. It goes all the way back to 1905, when Florence Butt opened the first C.C. Butt grocery store in Kerrville. She invested $60 in the business to get started. And by the 20s, her youngest son, Howard E. Butt, takes over the business. He expands the Butt grocery store company with a new store in Del Rio and another in Laredo. By the 1940s, they had opened up their first air-conditioned stores and began stocking frozen foods. In the 1950s, they also opened their first supermarkets, consolidating a fish market, butcher shop, pharmacy, and bakery under one roof. And over the years, they began to open up other types of stores, such as in 1994, they opened their first central market in Austin, featuring a European bakery, deli with meats and cheeses from around the globe, and juice and an ice cream bar. And in 1997, they had expanded its business across the border into Mexico with a new store in Monterey. 2002 was a busy year when they hosted their first Excellence in Education Award celebration in San Antonio. Today, the company awards more than $600,000 in cash prizes to outstanding educators annually. They also opened their state-of-the-art quality assurance laboratory, giving the company technologically advanced scientific capabilities. They are the only retailer in the United States to undertake extensive safety testing of produce and ground beef. In 2003, HEB ranked sixth in the nation and first in Texas in a Consumer Reports reader survey of the nation's top conventional supermarkets. The survey is based on price, checkout speed, service, and cleanliness. They also ranked tenth in the nation among privately held companies based on $11 billion in annual sales, according to Forbes. By 2004, HEB introduced its new HEB Plus concept store in San Juan, Texas. This store offers customers with expanded product and service offerings including extensive music, video, and DVD selections, a larger baby department, dedicated space for grills and grilling supplies, an expanded card and party product section, lawn and garden equipment, electronic and household items, and designated space for surprise buys. By 2005, they celebrated their 100-year anniversary of serving Texans, and then 2005 also opened three more HEB Plus stores, two of which feature a Texas Backyard Garden Center. By 2006, HEB opened its first Latino-focused store, Mi Tienda, in Houston, Texas. Mi Tienda, Spanish for My Store, offers products favored by Hispanic customers, such as piñatas, pan dulce, and papusas, and is decorated like a Mexican village. By 2008, HEB is one of the largest food chains in the United States with annual sales of more than $15 billion, operating 307 stores in Texas and northern Mexico with over 71,000 employees. They are the largest privately held company in Texas. And by 2010, HEB opened the first Joe V's Smart Shop in Houston. This small store offers big savings on meats, produce, and groceries. And in 2010, they were also Progressive Grocer Magazine's uh, Retailer of the Year. The award is given on the criteria of industry contribution, industry leadership, achievements with social responsibility, sustainability, community leadership, executive stewardship, and cor corporate culture. So that's just a little bit of the history about HEB. They are my favorite place to go to when I shop, and I will allow you to... Now listen to me speak in the store showing off all the candy and Christmas goodies. Thanks for listening, everybody. Enjoy the rest of the video. Candy canes again. Little mini candy canes. And then I saw these Hershey's candy canes, Lifesavers candy canes, Sweet Tarts, Starburst. 
more can of canes. Reese's Miniature Cups. Ferrero Rocher, if I said that correctly. Their chocolate's pretty good. It's a little more on the expensive side, but it's pretty good. It's good chocolate. If you're into eating chocolate. I know I am, but I will stick with the OG Kit Kat. <laughs> uh, they even have chocolate-covered pretzels. The little chocolate eggs. Tic Tacs. These are pretty good, too. My mother-in-law got me some of these. These are really good. I think, she, actually, it's these ones here. I'm sorry. Uh, more chocolate. I like these Finders Keepers. It's like a chocolate egg in a Hot Wheels car that you get in there. And they actually have a little assortment of different ones, which is pretty neat. So that's nice. Chocolate-covered cherries, more M&Ms, more chocolate. And like I said, we were just here yesterday, and they this was full. They condensed it all down. Because it is getting close to Christmas, we're a little, about a week away, actually. But they put stuff over here too, including more gift bags. I like these gift bags, especially this one I saw down here just a little bit ago. Merry Christmas with the camper. More ribbons, bows, plenty of ribbon and bows. And then they have cups, like the tinsel ornaments. I'm not a big fan of them, but these ones aren't bad, especially this one. Just not the biggest fan of them. A lot of mugs. Santa's workshop open till Christmas. And then this one, farm fresh Christmas trees. And then they even have their own plates as well. HEB's always been good for having really nice plates and dishware. I like that. I've actually bought some in the past when we were here back in May. Here's your jug to put some tea in there, sweet tea. Here then they have paper plates. I'm liking these ones. Look at this one, Cowboy Santa. And they have the cactus on there in the state of Texas and all the little stars. I like these a lot. And they're only $3.50 and you get... It doesn't say. I would imagine it's like 10 or so. Maybe 10. These ones say Merry Christmas. I like these ones. Howdy Holidays. <laughs> I like those. Then I have more. Of the, I like the napkins that they have. Have a Holly Jolly Christmas. More paper plates. Look at the little ones here. Even these are nice. And then treat bags too. Plenty of treat bags. Not bad. Table covers. More napkins. I like these ones. Fully snobby dog. Those aren't too bad. And then they have bakeware as well. Not much left, but enough. And we're not done yet. We have plenty more Christmas items to go check out throughout this store. They even have their party supplies here for your Happy New Year's parties, and I'm sure a lot of us would like this year to be over. And as long as you can do so safely, you can still have fun, even if it's just with your immediate family. Work our way to the other side of the store. Check out the HEB Holly Jolly Tamale bags. <laughs> I love those. And then behind me, plenty of poinsettias in their flower department, but you know my favorite bouquet ever are these ones here. And check these out. First of all, they have the cookie tins with wine in them, candy, cookies, chocolate. Okay, but it gets better. Christmas Story beer. I've had this before. My in-laws got me this last year, and they just actually got me another six-pack of this this year. It is so good. If you like dark beer, that's pretty good. And then, on top of that, they even, they even have the Shiner Cheer one. I like that. <laughs> And there's other goodies in there, too. They got candy in there as well. That's nice. And what's this one? I never tried this one. They're on this display here that they decked out with the uh, canopy and the uh, Christmas decorations. They have frosted Christmas cookies here. These sugar cookies. I love these. These are really good. I'm not a big fan of red velvet ones. Then they have little cookie platters here. Great for an office party or for work or whatever. Or if you're fat like me and like to eat cookies. They even have these ones too, not bad. And here's more of those Christmas Story gingerbread houses. I actually just bought one and ran it out to the car. It was $15, but for me, being a huge fan of the Christmas Story, I didn't care. I bought it, I wanted it. And they even have Oreo, wow. That one looks good too. Elf on the Shelf, they have that. Frosty the Snowman, not bad. Then they have their fresh pecan pies, pumpkin pies, more holiday cookies. These are holiday stars. Those aren't too bad. And then over here, we have another cookie platter, large one, and a bucket full of cookies that are all decked out. <laughs> Not bad. More Christmas tree cookies here. And then here were more of those 
pre oh these are pre-built gingerbread houses look at these i didn't see these ones before look it's already done for you so all you have to do is decorate it that's great if, it, if you're unable to build it yourself or if it's too much trouble for you that's nice part of the work is done if you enjoy a cold brew they have a great selection of christmas beers here including my favorite the holiday shiner that stuff is so good. And then even the Texas Cold Front, which is an assortment pack of different flavors of Shiner beer, it's pretty darn good. And they have even more over here. A lot of Texas brand ones too. And here's my favorite. <laughs> That's great. And if it's not a holiday beer you want, look at the gigantic selection of beer and wine that they have the whole aisle full and then over here wines that's what i mean this store is huge heb has a lot of products with their own label on it and their products are very good including this eggnog which i bought a bottle and it's pretty good and i drank the entire thing i think in about 30 seconds <laughs> My, uh, my in-laws actually bought me a bag of these, too. These Carolina Reaper Cheese Puffs. I haven't tried them yet, but I'm going to tonight, I think. I keep forgetting about them. They look very good, and I'm sure my mouth will be completely on fire, but that's okay. <laughs> that they even have their own holiday tortillas in green and red chips. <laughs> How awesome. And then they have their own queso to go along with it, and it's very good. Especially like that they have Texas flag. Uh, little plates and napkins, Texas Pride. Those are cool. And the table cover, too, of the state flag. Great stuff. All right, well, that was our look at HEB. I'm now en route to go get Kayla because her hair appointment is almost done. And we'll officially do an outro as soon as I get her. But I just have to say thank you to my mother-in-law and my father-in-law for letting me use her truck because they both have trucks because they're awesome. Everybody in that family has a truck. Even Kayla does. <laughs> and there's nothing wrong with the Z24. It's just uh, they were kind enough to let me use their vehicle and give the uh, Z24 a break. So I do thank you guys for that. And boy, I have to say, this has got to be one of the smoothest, most quietest rides that there is. Hands down. I am a Chevy guy, yes, but I love these Ford F-150s and can't go wrong with it. So I'm going off topic here. Let me go get Kayla and then we'll sign off and you get to see her brand new hairdo and color, even though it's going to be as bright as my new Bucky's Christmas shirt. Okay, maybe not that bright red, but red. <laughs> All right, everybody. There she is with the brand new hairdo. <laughs> yeah, so she trimmed a few inches off and we dyed it red. It looks really good, too. Thank you. I know the um, lighting is bad in here in the car. I'm but... not used to having curls in my hair, so she put these curls in, and I'm like, this is awkward. I haven't curled my hair in so long. <laughs> it looks but cute. Thank you. But anyway, yeah, you look cute. Thank you. <laughs> I, I always wear my hair straight, but you know what? It's a change. I like it. I do, too. So, but yeah, anyway, uh, as we were mentioning, or as I was mentioning, I would finish the outro from H-E-B with the lovely Kaylee. No. <laughs> um, yeah, so while you were getting your hair done, I was out there putting a video together for everybody to enjoy. So, but anyway, we're gonna take off. We're hungry. We're at Rose's Cafe. We're gonna get some good Mexican food here. Some queso. Mm -hmm. And then go home and go to bed for the night and then get up early to see what tomorrow's adventures bring. So anyway, hope you enjoyed the video, everybody. If you did, give the video a like. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe to our channel for more content. And with that said, everybody, take care. Stay awesome. Have an H-E-B-licious day. And we'll talk to you later. Bye. Bye, everyone.